Hey guys, welcome back to KYP. So today I want to talk about something which according to me is a major cause of frustration amongst employees in a software workplace. It is called Agile Fatigue. But before we start, if you find this topic interesting, hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. The Agile model revolutionized the workflow to make processes more client-centric and allowed for a fast-paced deployment. But due to its design, the employees are required to participate in one sprint after another to achieve the target. Now imagine a runner at the start of a 100 meter dash, all set to give their 100%. As soon as they hear the starting pistol, they are off in a flash. Now after completing the 100 meter dash, you tell them you have to run another 100 meter dash after this and another one after that. The second time the runner is already tired and is only able to give about 85% of his performance. And on the third try, the performance dips even further and is only able to achieve about 70%. Now you might say to me, it is quite obvious that the runner's efficiency is going to dip every time. Yes, and I agree with you. But this is my oversimplified definition of agile fatigue. According to me, one key aspect that is missing in the agile life cycle, which is practically very important, is taking a breather between sprints. As we saw from the above illustration, it is very difficult for one to perform at their peak efficiency without taking any breaks. In a corporate environment, which thrives on efficiency and in an agile process we are expected to work on one sprint after the another to deliver faster results in an efficient manner and according to me this entire process is destined to fail at some point because it is not sustainable now i'm not saying that every employee must be allowed to take some days off after every sprint but i'm just trying to say we have to mitigate these risks and find a way to allow for some downtime here are some of the ways, according to me, through which we can achieve some downtime. Working on low priority tasks like documentation or refactoring. We always have some documentation overhead that is remaining and some, some parts of code that we look at and think, hmm, this can be done differently or in a better way. So between sprints, we should allow for some time to work on such tasks to allow for a little bit of downtime. Participating in team bonding sessions. Now, especially in this work from home environment, it is more and more difficult to interface with your teammates and get a feeling of working in an environment together. But we must find some way to allow for some team bonding, albeit digitally. Inter-team activities. So in a corporate environment, we are divided into different teams and each team has their own responsibility. And it is very difficult to get to know someone from another team. So we should create an environment like maybe an hackathon wherein different teams can come together and work to design a solution. If you have watched the video till this point, hit that subscribe button. It keeps me motivated to make videos like these in the future. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.